Hi, I'm Kenneth Weidsta. I'm a professional photographer here in Colorado and welcome to another one of my photography talks. Today I want to talk about inspiration. So I saw this feature online somewhere about somebody who was using a half frame camera, which I've shown this one once before. This is a, what is this thing called? This is called a Mercure 2. You have to get the 2 because the 1 took proprietary film cartridges and the 2 took 35 millimeter normal cartridges. But it's got a universal tricore lens. None of that matters. The point is it's a half frame camera. So when you look through the viewfinder, you see a vertical frame instead of a horizontal frame. Because instead of a normal 35 millimeter negative, it's using half of it, which is a vertical. And the beauty of a, of a half frame camera that this guy was doing was he had a project where he would shoot two frames. One of the subject that he was photographing and one where he turned around and showed what was exactly behind that spot. And I thought, what an interesting little conversation piece, a little human interest story of, you know, there's the view of the you know, Eiffel Tower, but what's behind that view? There's the view of the Statue of Liberty, there's the view of New York City, there's the view of any place. What's behind that? There's the view of uh, maroon bells at sunrise. I know in Colorado, if you photograph maroon bells at sunrise and you turn around, you're going to see a wall of photographers shooting the same photo. That's what maroon bells looks like. And so he would shoot one forward, one back using a half frame camera, so on the frame they're right next to each other. Then if you printed them together as a single frame, you would have both on one sheet of paper, which is kind of cool. So I like ideas like that, that are just, you know, simple little story ideas that, you know, get your creative juices going because you're going, oh, that's a good idea, that's an interesting idea, I could do that. And I like the idea he's using a half frame for that because maybe for what he's doing, that warrants that and it gets the print on one frame. So anything that jumpstarts your creativity, take ideas from other people, steal anywhere you can because nothing is your own. Everything is to be taken and used and refiltered into your own personal unique style. And somebody famously said, you know, no, nothing is original. Everybody steals. And I'm going to say that's me. I said that because I'm stealing that. That's the way it works. You get to be creative and you get to use anything you want to make your creativity work. And I thought that was an interesting idea using the half frame camera and that can launch a thousand discussions about a thousand different inspiring ideas. But the idea of just trying something that is your own unique structure so that it makes it so that that structure makes it so that you know okay, I know what I'm going to go do and photograph. Because sometimes we need an assignment. We need a goal. And that person saying, I'm going to shoot front and back, that created a goal. And they ended up with a really cool photo project. All right, that's today's photography talk. If you're enjoying these, hit the subscribe button. Send the link to your friends. Put some comments below. And thanks so much for watching.